Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys know that yesterday we just got the new No Sweat Summer update, right? Known as the uh, V21.30. I, I gotta say, the update was decent. I was like expecting them to at least like update a couple of more cosmetics, like such as like red emotes at least, but they did not, you know? Um, but I gotta say, the actual Summer update, it is gonna be coming out within a couple of days. I believe pretty much uh, at the end of this week. That information came out from these uh, Fortnite leakers, including Hypax, Machina VR, iFire Monkey, and those other Fortnite leakers. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about what to expect. You know, what like which contents can we expect of the upcoming No Sweat Summer Update? That includes like bundles and yeah, much more. Now, just before today's video starts, I would appreciate a lot if you guys can go to the item shop and support me by using code FireGamer. For most importantly, don't forget to put my code back in whenever my code uh, will be getting expired. All right, so first off, let's talk about the upcoming collaborations. We've got Juice World, Travis Scott, Subway Surfers, and as well as the Dragon Balls collaboration. About Travis Scott's collaboration, y'all, it is not official, of course, because uh, like nobody really talked about it and we don't really got that much information but uh, as you guys may remember over like a week ago I made a Travis Scott video of me talking about the return of that because there is a information which it might be a sign that we'll be seeing the return of the Travis Scott set so first off let's talk about the Subway Surfers collaboration so over like two weeks ago I believe there is a, a graphic designer who uh, pretty much creates Fortnite concept scans and bundles so as you guys see on the screen that person, that graphic designer, had created this uh, Subway Surfers concept bundle, which it looks so cool. It's like, re it's like real. It looks so real, but it's not. Like, it is not made by the official Fortnite. So, on this same post, okay, on that same post, the official uh, Twitter page of Subway Surfers had responded uh, saying, uh, I'm gonna say like asking Fortnite when to collaborate. Because it says, uh, you know, Fortnite game collab when. So they pretty much have mentioned the uh, official Twitter page of Fortnite and they were asking Fortnite when to collaborate and I'm sure that they would definitely accept their collaboration offer and not deny it because if you guys didn't know that uh, most of the cosmetics of Fortnite are a part of these uh, collaborations. You guys know right, they have like, collaborated with like so many uh, you know, artists, game companies, you know, like games and much more. So yeah, that's kind of crazy, but about Subway Surfers, it is not official of course, but it's because of that, I personally believe that we should be uh, seeing the uh, collaboration of Fortnite x Subway Surfers. Out of that, we should be expecting the upcoming collaboration of Fortnite x Juice World. Now, I know that I mentioned about that like a couple of times, you know, but uh, it is not official yet, but there's a high chance, okay? So if you guys want, click the link in the description to check out the video of me uh, talking about and giving you guys all of the informations about the upcoming Juice World collaboration. There's literally a high chance the collaboration will be happening very very soon, according to Juice World's manager in real life, Peter Jiduanwo. So over like two or three months ago, he basically has made a uh, quick video of him talking about his upcoming meeting with Epic Games. If you guys don't believe me, like I say, y'all, check out the video, click the link in the description. Because after watching the video, you guys will literally tell by yourselves that the collaboration it is going to be happening. Trust me. So yeah, uh, it is not official yet, but hopefully we'll be seeing the Juice World collaboration. All right. Um, yeah, there's a high chance because out of that, for those who don't know, back in Chapter Three, Season One. There was a insane leak about a upcoming live concert event that is going to be happening within Chapter 3, Season 3, which means this season, right? Now, as of now, till today, nobody really talked about the, uh, the live concert event, but hopefully we should be expecting that uh, to, you know, launch within these upcoming few weeks. As soon as I get any information, I will make sure to keep you guys updated. Now, regarding to the uh, Dragon Ball collaboration, it is official. So, the credit prop is called a Stamina Capsule and it's categorized as a collab item. Plus, it has an anime look. Epic also been working on a Stamina item for VR for a while now. So, as you guys see on the screen uh, at the left side, so here is pretty much the, uh, you know, Capsule thing. So, it was like pretty much in game. Also, Shin and VR have set the following yesterday. So, the Attack Ball, it is going to be Gladder. And also, those are as well going to be the... Uh, three upcoming uh, Dragon Ball skins and there's also a high chance that we should be expecting a female Dragon Ball character as well. So a couple of hours ago, 
Hypex said the following. Fortnite x Dragon Ball start date. The house near the foundation statue has been a teaser for the collab this whole time. It is where the collab will start. It's set to start in the next one to two weeks with an umbrella and chair appearing near this house and maybe challenges too. So you guys can already see at the uh, right corner of you know our screen we can see the house in Fortnite. But at the left side that is like literally the same house but it's from Dragon Ball. So that was like a teaser the whole time but nobody knew it. Also, according to Meteorado and Hypex, the uh, collaboration of Dragon Ball will have an emote for Goku and Vegeta to transform into Super Saiyan style. Also, a couple of weeks ago, Hypex said the following regarding to the uh, first person mode. This update, Epic began working on some stuff about first person camera mode, but there is no other info about it at the moment, as it looks like it is still in early development. Would work really well for the zero build modes. Also, the topic that I'm gonna be talking about right now, it is not a upcoming content that we should be expecting in a couple of days. So today, the new Refer a Friend challenges just came out. It is now available for everyone. Those rewards are free as you guys see on the screen. If you guys want to know on how to get them with the easiest way, then click the link in the description. As on my third channel, I just made a uh, tutorial video on how to get the skin and the rest of the rewards with the easiest way so far. So yeah, click the link in the description so you guys can check out the video if you guys want to. So a couple of hours ago, the uh, new Anime Legends pack got leaked. So it's going to be available digitally at the uh, 22nd of October. It's going to cost you guys over like $20. And uh, it's going to be available at the 14th of October in uh, retail stores. So as you guys can see, here's a uh, closer look of the Midas skin. And about that skin, it is kind of like familiar. Maybe I've seen it in the item shop. It's kind of like familiar. And this one too. Is, I believe it was like pretty much in a battle pass. Other than these, we have these uh, free upcoming rewards, you know, at the end of this week, hopefully. They are pretty much a part of the No Sweat Summer update, as you guys can see, all of them are free. And yeah, you just gotta do some challenges, you know, just gotta make sure to complete some challenges in order for you to unlock these rewards. And lastly about Travis Scott, uh, he's gonna be having a uh, performance in UK. So on his Instagram account, he just posted two posts. One of them was this one and the other was this one. So I guess he's going to be, uh, you know, having a live performance in UK at the uh, 6th and 7th of August. So yeah, that's too much to give in for the video that guys are watching. So as of now, those are all of the information, contents that we know so far. All right. So yeah, expect the update to drop hopefully, you know, in a couple of days, but I'm not sure if we'll be having like a couple of updated cosmetics or not. Hopefully we'll be seeing updated cosmetics, you know, because I believe it's going to be a good update, hopefully. Uh, make sure you guys share this video and let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have any questions or, you know, just drop a comment if you guys want to. Till then, it's more by Fire Gamer and take care.